Let's do this. <laughs> Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel! For reference, no? Hi friends! Today is October 1, 2021. It's a Friday today. So it's the end of the week and it's going to be 10.49pm. So I'm getting ready for bed. So I'm actually wearing this. It's been more than a year since I last posted my first vlog. And... You know what happened since then. Nothing. <laughs> I haven't posted any other vlog aside from my first ever vlog. Anyway, um, so for today's video, it's actually highly requested. I am going to teach you guys how I edit my, my videos. videos. Just for context, because um, last July, I actually posted um, a video on TikTok that I edited. And it actually kind of blew up. Which is really surprising because I didn't expect it to. And a lot of people have been asking me for a tutorial since then. And I was like, like oh my gosh, yeah, sure, I'm gonna make it. And like, I'm gonna post it here on my YouTube channel soon. Stay tuned. But then that never happened. But it's really about time that, you know, I teach you guys how. But before anything else, I just wanna give a disclaimer. So, first is that I am only gonna be teaching you guys the basics of how I edit. And then second of all, I really don't want you guys to have high expectations that I'll be teaching you guys well, but I'm really gonna do my best to impress you guys. So yeah. I listened a bunch of FAQs, or actually, it's just three. I looked at the TikTok comments and tried to see which were the questions that you guys would ask. And the first question that I get a lot is what software do you use to edit? So I actually use two softwares, specifically Final Cut Pro, which is for the editing of the videos and to compile everything. And second would be Procreate, which is what I use for the graphics. Everything that I put there is hand-drawn. Second question is, what camera do you use to edit your pics? Okay, everything that you saw in my videos were actually taken by the Fujifilm disposable camera that was taken back in like 2019 when life was still normal and a little bit earlier in 2020 so I did not use anything to edit the pictures further like at all I just left it as is it already gives the vibe that you're, you want to go for okay the third question is how long does it take for you to edit your videos okay so I like to take my time when I edit videos so it really depends it takes me roughly around like if I were to add it because I would do it like uh, for days so if I were to add it it would be like 10 hours because I make like everything from scratch it takes me a really long time plus I really take the time to make it look the best now we're gonna move on to the actual video the actual video editing so let's get to it Finally, I hope I explain it well. Let's go. Okay guys, this is it. I'm really gonna teach you guys now how to edit. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a picture. So it can be any picture, literally anything. I like to pick my disposable pictures because it gives that cool vibe. So for today, we're gonna be using this picture of me and Ina back in 2019. So the first thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna make a copy of that picture. So what you're gonna do is press Command C to copy and then Command V and it's gonna appear in your desktop. When you open it, it's gonna lead you to preview because we'll be using it to cut out the subject. And so we're gonna press this. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, we're gonna press that. And then we're gonna go to the crop tool. I don't know what it's called also. And we're gonna pick lasso select. And then what we're gonna do, I usually make it smaller but it's easier to remove the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the background. Doesn't matter talaga when you trace it on the outside. And then we're gonna trace the subject. It also doesn't matter if you leave a, a little bit of the background. Like, it's not gonna be noticeable in the video. Now that you have that, the next thing that you're gonna do is press delete and then it's gonna convert and it's gonna be the subject left 
And so now that you have these two files, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start a new project. So what you're gonna do is press new project and then you can name it anything you want. Let's say like tutorial. And then you're gonna go to the video. And since like what I usually do is I make it on the size of the phone. So what you can do is you go to video and you pick vertical and press OK and it's gonna lead you to this. And then you are going to get your file. You have to drag the two pictures. So we're gonna do the one with the background first. So we're gonna switch it and make this. Okay, so as you can see, the two clips, they're the same but like one has no background usually what I like to do is I like to have the whole picture take the frame. I don't really like having that black box on top and then the bottom. So what I do is select both pictures and then I go to scale all and I just drag it to the right. Because you highlighted both pictures, it's gonna be the same size. So we're gonna start, it's like gonna transition where the subject is like going farther. So you're gonna drag the cut out to the top of the first clip. So what you're gonna do to create that effect is you're gonna go to position and you're gonna move the X or TBH, you can also move the Y. But since the goal is to like make it like look like a transition, what you have to do is like you have to lessen the time of this. So to make it more noticeable, what I do is like I move it more so that it's obvious that the subject is the only thing that's moving. That this is how it looks like. And all you have to do is just keep adding to your liking. I suggest you adjust it first in the X. You adjust the duration of the clip. I'll make four of this. So it looks like an actual transition. We're just gonna move it again, drag it to the side, and then you're gonna fix the duration of the clip. So it's really up to you on how you want it to look like, but this is how it looks like in the final output. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the graphics of the video. So the first thing that you're gonna do on Procreate is you're gonna make a new canvas. And then it's gonna lead you to a white screen. Over here, you're gonna go to the layers and remove the background. So it's gonna be transparent. The next thing that you're gonna do is pick a brush. So the usual brush that I use is a dry ink brush. So I'm gonna make it white because the background of the whole video is black. So it just leads you to the first layer already. So you can get going, you can draw anything that you want. But in my case, the one that I like drawing is usually like a smiley face. And guys, it really doesn't matter if it's like ugly or not. Second element that I like to use is like a crown because I think it's cute when you put it on people. It's like a cute accent. You can draw anything that you want. And then what you're gonna go with the, this and you're gonna import it or you're gonna airdrop it to your laptop as a PNG. It doesn't need to be perfect because honestly, the more imperfect, the more cool your video will look in my opinion. Alright, so now that it is imported into your laptop and you dragged it into Final Cut, you can now move on to editing it into your video. And you're gonna select the clip. And so since there are two elements, you might be wondering, Oh my gosh, Ken, like how am I supposed to separate both elements from each other if they're like one whole picture? The easiest thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press B on your keyboard. So it's gonna turn it into a blade instead of your mouse. And you can just honestly click anywhere for me. I'm gonna click the middle and then you press A to make it look normal again and so we're gonna use the first clip so as you can see it turned into two clips so we're gonna use the first clip as the clip for the smiley face and the second one is gonna be for the crown to crop the crown out of the smiley face what you're gonna do for the first clip is you're gonna go to crop and you're gonna pick bottom and all you have to do is drag to the right until you can't see the crown no more pretty much it super quick and then you're gonna move to the second clip. You're just gonna drag it to the right again. So you're gonna play with the graphics and you're gonna put it anywhere you want. So you can see that 
um, there's no background because you imported it as a PNG. So you can literally move it anywhere that you want. You can make it any size. This rotation is for how you want it to look like. As for the crown, all you're gonna do is like put it over here. And you can make so many copies of this so that it would look like it's attached to all of the cutouts. So you can do that right now. So all you have to do is press Command C, then Command V, and you just move it to that. That's it. That's basically it. It's really up to you to make it look like the way you want it to look and make it the same vibe as the song, I guess, because that's what I usually do. So when you play it, it's gonna look like this. Boom! And you're done. If you were able to do it, I'm so proud of you. I hope this video helped and I hope it did, that it was clear. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment down below. I will try my best to answer it. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe and comment. Give your girl some love. And yeah, I'm happy to be back and I hope that I'll be posting again real soon. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye guys. Thank you guys for watching. Good night.